So back in the United States, a lot of fans shows up today. How do you feel about this? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, it was one thing coming back to Houston for a couple days, but I really wanted to, you know, see all the old Dynamo fans and USA fans uh, going into the World Cup. So, you know, I was really uh, surprised at the turnout, given one day's notice, and you know, it was, uh, it was great to see so many uh, familiar faces. So, how's life over there in England? I mean, we heard a lot of things to your Twitter and <laughs> to Facebook, but how's life in England? It's good. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm, you know, I miss a lot about home. I miss, I miss Houston, but. At the same time, it's a new experience for me, and uh, you know, I'm playing in a new country, and um, you know, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But and even though I'm playing for Bolton, I still get a lot of support back from Houston, which uh, you know, which is really important for me. And uh, the U.S. against England game, how do you, how do the British people feel about this game? Because in the United States, Americans are very excited about it. How do the British people feel about this game? Yeah, I get asked. I think every interview I do now overseas is all about what, how do you feel about playing against England. So I mean. The World Cup in England is, you know, it's the it's, it's massive. Everybody watches TV. Nobody goes to work. Everybody watches it. So, especially with it being the opening game for them, I think, uh, you know, everybody's going to have all their eyes on it, and hopefully, you know, we can pull off an upset. And something you want to say to the fans that couldn't make it today? There's, they're probably going to watch this video. Yeah, I just want to say I miss you guys. You know, I, I still support Houston. Uh, still a dynamo for life, and. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to ho hopefully uh, after the World Cup coming back and, and seeing a game and getting up there in the crowd and, and uh, going crazy with you guys. So, uh, you know, thanks for all the continued support and uh, hopefully see you soon. There you have it, Stuart Holden.